Welcome everyone, my name is Nivin, and today I'm playing the game called Guilt. Not to spoil the plot of the game, let's just move on. I found this game on Itch.io, it's available for free, and you can download it yourself if you like it. Um, let's go this way. Before I continue with the game, I must say that the game is about a serial killer and the consciousness and his guilt. That's why the game is called Guilt. So, Body found in shallow grave. Police are investigating after the body of a young woman was found in a shallow grave just outside of town. The victim is presumed to have been buried alive. Wow. Not a, not a good way to go. Oh. So we are the serial killer in this game. Which doesn't... Uh, I don't feel really comfortable with it, but I guess... This is the game. Let's go faster. I know what you've done. Well, I know too. Don't... Don't make it a surprise for me. Oh my god. Let's read it. Couple found buried next to one another. A couple's bodies were found in the shallow graves in a secluded area in the woods surrounding Hill House. Hillside, sorry. Uh, upon further investigation, the police determined that the victims were buried alive just like the young woman whose body was found last month. Police are suspecting that there may be a serial killer at large. If you have any information, please contact Hillside Police Department. I said Hill House because I love that TV show. And I also love the book. Um, written by... Shirley Jackson. It's a good book. You should read it. It's very different from the TV show, especially the second episode. <sighs> this is not a good game. I don't mean this is not a good game in a way that the, the functionality of the game is bad. I mean just the theme and the idea that we are serial killer and somehow this is connected to the notion of guilt I, I don't know let's move faster let's go this way There's nothing here yeah just that notion of being uh, Wait, we, we have been here. Yeah, this is the way we came. Then we went this way, right? No, no, wait. This was the way we came. And... Uh, yes, we read this. Where is the... Wait, there's something. Oh, 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 something here. Yeah. Let's let's cheat the game. Serial killer at large. After yet another body was found in a shallow grave in the local area, police have issued a. Statewide warning that there is in fact a serial killer at large. Many local and state news outlets have nicknamed this brutal killer the Gravedigger because of their chosen method of execution. Okay. To be honest, being buried alive, I, I would imagine, is the worst feeling. Murderer. 
not murderer as much more of a crazy person person who needs medical attention and who needs some time in jail for sure We deserve this. Let's see what I deserve. Hmm. Revisiting the terror of Hillside. Today marks the five year anniversary of the discovery of the supposed last victim of the Hillside serial killer known as the Grave Digger. Although local law enforcement is still tirelessly investigating this brutal slayings not enough substantial evidence has tortured turned up to convict the suspect tortured wow i guess because i i am tortured by this game the great vigor still remains at large and the tension and fear amongst residents of hillside have yet to subside and uh okay who is um, burying us, I guess? Mysterious anniversary slang. As we all know, yesterday was the five year anniversary of when the grave digger claimed his last victim. Then last night, a man's body was discovered in a shallow grave. He had been buried alive. By who? At first, law enforcement believed that the famous serial killer had returned. However, after further investigation, it turned out that the DNA of the body of the man found yesterday matched DNA that was found at all previous gravedigger crime scenes. So the the character that we were we were playing was the serial serial killer, and he just he died, buried alive. We don't have information by whom, by the way. It seems that the murderer has now met the same fate as all of his victims. Um, a sigh of relief will be sure to come over the citizens of Hillview. He deserved this. Is this the end of the game? Yeah, this is the end of the game. Well, let me say this about the game. Functionality, um, the style pixelated style which is quite famous these days uh, the movement and interaction was all right but the theme of the game and the idea of the serial killer and him i mean it says right here that a sigh of relief will be sure to come over the citizens citizens of hillview he deserved this well he was a serial killer, I understand. He was he was a person of uh, bad 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 actions. He 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 made bad actions. But he deserved this. I I'm not sure that he deserved this. This is this is not how at least in my opinion justice works. The philosophy of having a serial killer and then him doing something um, like this, I, I'm, I'm not sure he deserved the way he died. The best way would have been for him to go to the police, or at least for the police to find him, and then he would be prosecuted, and that's, that's how justice system should work. He deserved this. I mean, he did all these bad, bad things, he did many bad things, he killed people, but he deserved not to be buried alive on his own terms by himself, he deserved to be prosecuted and to, I, I guess the, the game lacks the responsibility of making a character uh, pay for his wrongdoings because that's how it's supposed to be that's that's how
I think the game should go. Anyways, that's my opinion of the game. It's a good game. Uh, by any means, well done. But the theme needs to be changed. Either way, the ending needs to be changed because this is not how it's supposed to work. He's supposed to be brought to justice and to be prosecuted and to pay for his actions. And not just be buried alive on his own terms. By himself, I guess. Thanks for watching everyone and have a good day.